Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video and a very special episode inside of Stampy's lovely world and I do not need to tell you why today is a special occasion. It's Christmas everybody, it is Christmas and I hope you are all having an absolutely wonderful time so far and uh, even if you're not watching this on Christmas, uh, whenever you are uh, happening to click on this video, I hope you uh, are having a good time uh, no matter what you're doing and where you are. And actually as I'm recording this, uh, it's Christmas Eve, you can see there the sun going down on the horizon uh, that means it's the night before Christmas and so I have a little bit of time uh, just to get everything ready uh, before we start the celebrations tomorrow and as you can see uh, no Elfa Lee, no other Minecraft helpers I am by myself and uh, that's because everyone is currently getting ready uh, getting all dressed up and looking smart for the uh, Christmas celebrations we're going to be doing tomorrow and here's my Christmas tree uh, you can see that this is what I was building in the last episode uh, I've tidied it up a little bit I uh, put some glowstone on the top as a star and some mushrooms here which are uh, supposed to be the baubles uh, kind of like how I did last year and underneath I've put some stockings there's here uh, one for Hilda uh, currently as you can see it is uh, completely empty uh, one for mittens as well there and uh, one for Henry but hopefully uh, in the middle of the night uh, Santa is going to come down my chimney and uh, fill all of the uh, the stockings aka chests uh, with lots of presents and speaking of Santa uh, there is a little thing that I have got for him as well um, uh, I'm sure you might have been done doing the same uh, I've got some cookies uh, some milk and some apples here for all of his reindeer so I'm going to put that down for Santa and here for his reindeers I got a nice apple uh, for Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, and Blitzen. So that's uh, all nine of uh, Santa's reindeer can have a nice tasty apple because they're probably quite tired from going around. And here, there's another empty chest, which is uh, hopefully, once again, fingers crossed, going to be filled. And uh, that is my stocking. So hopefully uh, Santa is going to get me some sort of present. I think I've been good this year. I haven't accidentally killed many of my dogs. I certainly did uh, better than last year. So hopefully uh, I will get some good presents. But there is uh, one final thing I wanted to do uh, before I go to sleep and begin Christmas. Uh, last year I added a sign in my love garden uh, to add Santa but in the excitement and maybe I drank too much eggnog I accidentally instead of writing Santa writ Stanta and I get messages every single day from people watching that video uh, telling me that I spelt Santa wrong so I thought right seeing as it's Christmas this is going to be the perfect time to correct the sign and this time I'm going to add him into my love garden properly and make sure that I definitely do not make any mistakes so Santa there we go I didn't spell it wrong and now no one is going to leave any comments suggesting that I should change the name because I spelt it wrong right absolutely perfect <laughs> anyway let's not waste any more time it's time to go to bed because I know that if I shut my eyes by the time I open them again it's gonna be Christmas Day I am actually genuinely very very excited it's always uh, a very good jolly fun time uh, celebrating uh, Christmas inside of Stampy's lovely world so good night everyone good night see you on Christmas morning oh that was quick <laughs> I do really wish that sleeping was like that in real life but it's Christmas everybody it's Christmas it's Christmas it's Christmas it's Christmas what shall I do first what shall I do first shall I go see if I got any presents I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up to the clubhouse and I'm gonna see if uh, Henry and Hilda got any presents but first I want to see mine I'm gonna go down uh, to my library and see if Santa's been see if he's eaten his cookies and see if he's drank his milk and see if uh, the reindeers had all of the apples and oh wait a minute oh did he not want any did he not want any of his snacks I suppose I better put them away. Let's see what I got for Christmas. Oh, there's there's nothing here. Did Santa not get me anything for Christmas? Um, okay. I don't know. Maybe he left it somewhere else. Maybe he left it in the clubhouse or something, maybe? Oh, this isn't right. This isn't how it's supposed to be. I have been good this year, haven't I? I have been a good stampy cat. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my clubhouse and, oh god, I'm getting lost in my own house here. <laughs> I should know my way around. I did build it. Well, right, let's see what um, stampy, uh, see what stampy, see what Santa got for uh, for mittens then. Oh, there's nothing in there. What about Henry? No, there's nothing in there either. What about Hilda? Hilda's been good at gold this year. There's nothing there. Why hasn't Santa got anyone anything? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. And whoa, whoa, what was that? Did you hear that big crash? It sounded like it came from out here somewhere. Hello? Are you okay? What was happened? There is something out there. It is! It's Santa! Santa's here! Santa, what are you... Are you what are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? Oh, he looks hurt. He doesn't look very well. I think he's crashed his sleigh. I think he's crashed his sleigh. Look, all of the presents have fallen out and his reindeers have run away. Oh no, poor Santa. He's not going to be able to deliver any presents. We need to save Santa. We need to save Christmas for everyone. What can I do to help him? I don't know how to help him. Um... 
What could I do? How could I make him get better? It looks like he's hurt his leg. I know what to do. I know what I could do. I got I got a very special thing with magical powers that was given to me a while ago. Great, stay there, Santa. You stay there. Not that you can go anywhere anyway with your broken leg. I'm going to go down and get something. You may remember a while ago, I was visited by some aliens and they gave me a, spe a special magical apple called a lunar cheese apple. Here we go on my wall. This is my uh, apple, which is made out of the world's finest lunar cheese made from a uh, cheese that's actually taken from the moon and apparently uh, if you eat it it gives you special powers and hopefully will be able to heal people so hopefully if a uh, santa does eat this apple uh, it's going to heal him and then he can go and deliver all of the presents right this has got to work because this is our only option uh, there you go santa if you eat this magical apple it will hopefully make you feel better oh he's got up already he's eating it is it working oh look there's all magic coming out there we go he looks better already look even his suit has got cleaner yeah he's jumping up and down i managed to heal Santa. I managed to save him. Now he can go around and deliver everybody's presents. Look how happy he is. I've got an idea, Santa. Stay right here. I got something for you. I left out some cookies and some milk and stuff for you downstairs. Stay there. I'm going to go get it for you. And I also got some apples for your reindeer, Santa. So I don't know where they are. If you manage to find them again, and maybe you can give them the apples. I need to be quick. Oh, I'm getting lost again in my own house. Right, go. Let's go and grab everything as quick as I can. I can't believe Santa's here. I saw him last year, but only very briefly. I can't believe I actually got to meet Santa. Right, I've got him uh, a cookie here. I got him a glass of milk and uh, some apple. I think he probably needs some uh, some good food. I could maybe ask if he wants to stay for Christmas dinner. I think he'd love it. I got lots of cake and. And, uh, cooked chicken and stuff that uh, he should be able to enjoy. Uh, Santa, I've got something for you to eat. If you just stay there and wait a minute, the, the sleigh is gone. And so Santa. Santa's disappeared. He must have fixed his sleigh and took off straight away. I suppose he has got to be very busy. He has got uh, lots of presents to deliver. It must be the busiest time of year for him. He seems to have left a, a present here from Santa. Winky face. <laughs> oh, look, he's left me a nice little present. There we go. I was thinking I wasn't going to get any presents. I was a little bit upset there. All right, let me just sheer open my present. And look, there is, there's a chest in here. What have I got? Diamond boots. Not bad. I do like my... I do like my traditional stampy style silver boots, but I guess I can wear the uh, the diamond boots on special occasions. Right, let's try them on then, shall we? Let's see let's see whether they fit me. Oh, they do look good. I like their colour. The colour does look good. Oh, they're comfy as well. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up and down and try them out. You're always told to walk up and down when you're in shoe shops trying on shoes. So I'm going to do that. They're comfy. They're all like padded and furry on the inside. Very nice Christmas boots, aren't they? <laughs> right, so Christmas in Stampy's lovely world then. Jolly good. I better. I, I better get settled. I'll sit down. I can. I can eat this tasty cookie. Um, I'm a little bit lonely to be honest. There's. There's no one else here. None of my friends have shown up. Oh, I guess I'll stay here and eat an apple. Ooh, I know who could join me. Even if my friends aren't here, I'm still never alone inside of my lovely world because I got all of my dogs. I can go get all of my dogs and mittens as well, actually. I've no idea where mittens is. Uh, she always goes out in the middle of the night like cats do. And yeah, I've no idea where she's got to. So hopefully uh, uh, I'll find her and then later on. Wait a minute. Who's this? Is that Ballistic Squid and, and Amy Lee? My friends are here. They've all shown up eventually. I was getting worried none of you were going to show up for Christmas. Come on, guys. Come on, come in. Have you seen the time? You're all very late, but it doesn't matter. It's Christmas. We're all here to have fun. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Squid. Merry Christmas, Longbow. Merry Christmas, Ank. Merry Christmas, Amy Lee. Merry Christmas, Elfily. <laughs> Everyone go inside. You go up to the clubhouse. I'll be up there in a minute. I'm just going to go and grab all of my dogs and wish them all a very Merry Christmas as well. Dogs, Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, they're, they're all together. Oh, they're all having a little Christmas party down here. They're all gathered around a cake and mittens. There you are. I've been wondering where you are. <laughs> I think maybe she wanted to, to spend some special time with Duncan on this Christmas. How are you doing, guys? Do you want to come up and have a meal with me? You can all join me in a minute. And I'll look over here. I think Santa's left presents for all my dogs as well. Look, there's chess. There's a pork chop there for Barnaby. Uh, Flippy's got a bone. Uh, Benji's got uh, some steak. There's some shears here for Flushy, uh, Fluffy so she can groom her fur. Uh, Benton's got a stick uh, so he can go and play fetch, I guess. And Sherbet's got a, a gold bar, nice and shiny, just like Sherbet. And Spring's got a sun-kissed flower. I guess that's what they wanted. Uh, Gregory Jr.'s got a spare golf ball, so he's over there at the, at the golf course. And uh, Duncan uh, has got a fish. 
Why does Duncan have a fish? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe that's that's sort of a more of a cat type thing to have. I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, let's get all the uh, the dogs to stand up, and you can all join me. Last year, I only chose a few dogs to join me, and I felt that was a little bit unfair. So all of my dogs can now follow me, and this is going to be uh, a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's always a uh, kind of tough trying to do anything when there's a whole pack of dogs behind you, but it doesn't matter. It's Christmas. We're here to celebrate, and so all I need to do now is uh, go and head up to my kitchen and uh, prepare dinner, and then we can uh, start the uh, the Christmas party properly. I still. I can't believe that Santa actually showed up and he pretty much gave me like his present in person. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, but all I need to do now is I go and prepare the uh, the final dinner. And Ank, what are you what are you doing down here? Go and go upstairs. All the parties upstairs. You can help me in the kitchen if you like. Right. Okay. So I should have some. Yeah. I got some chicken in the oven, uh, which should be nicely cooked. And up here, I got some cake. I got some fish. We got some melons if we want a Christmas melon moment, and uh, some mushroom stew as well. Let's get something from the fridge as well. There we go. I got some nice tasty pork chops as well. I can give. Uh, to one of my dogs and speaking of my dogs is there any chance of me getting out here excuse me guys excuse me i'm very busy right now excuse me please <laughs> are you okay Ang? why are you down here always oh, all upset why are you upset Ang? look would you like a tasty apple it's christmas there's no point moping around down here i think he might be uh, a little bit shy maybe uh, anyway, let's go and see how everyone's doing. Everyone's all over the place. Amy's jumped up on the Christmas tree. Squid's uh, on the uh, DJ decks. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. We can all have Christmas dinner. Does everyone uh, want to go and meet me over by the uh, the dining room table? And uh, we can all sit down and have Christmas dinner. Hopefully, uh, Ank's going to come up and join us uh, a little bit later on. And look, even Henry and Hilda have joined us. Even Henry and Hilda have come from downstairs to uh, join us up at the Christmas table. Right, so let's all go and put our Christmas hats on. Uh, everyone should have some uh, party hats just to uh, get in the, uh, the festive spirit and I'm going to start giving out some food for everyone. There's some uh, nice tasty uh, roast chicken here if anyone wants to eat that. Who wants the roast chicken? Who ordered the roast chicken? Uh, unfortunately we haven't got any turkey in Minecraft so this is just going to have to do. I just throw it down there and there we go. Squid's put his little party on that as well and there's some apples here. You can have that for appetizers. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got some pork chops if anyone wants some pork chops. Uh, we've got some mushroom stew here and we've got some melons as well. Uh, let's just sort of throw this uh, all over the place and I believe uh, I had a, a glass of milk which I was going to give to Santa uh, but I guess I'm just going to eat it here myself seen as uh, yeah he he was uh, quite busy on christmas so I had to had to go and head off and uh, do some other things. And I've got a cake here, which is a, a special present for Lee. Uh, but speaking of presents, I should probably go and uh, see if Santa's left some presents for everyone else. But there you go, Lee. Uh, you're always giving me cake, so I thought on Christmas uh, I'd be nice and give you a cake. I think he's full up after Christmas dinner. Maybe uh, you can have a little bit uh, later on before I steal it all. Uh, anyway, let's go and see what uh, Santa brought um, Henry, Hilda and Mittens. Oh, Mittens got a fish. I know she's going to absolutely love that. A special uh, Christmas fish. And let's see what Hilda got. Hilda got a, oh, a lovely jubbly love love petals, a nice rose, I give that to her, and it looks like Henry got a, is that a, is that a potion? It's also a fire resistance potion. <laughs> I suppose if you are a snow golem, you would uh, appreciate having some fire resistance so you don't melt. And uh, there you go, Henry, there's your present from Santa, you can have that there, Hilda, and where is Mittens? Mittens! Mittens, come on kitty cat, Mittens, whoa, that's not Mittens, that's a load of dogs, there you are, going round with Duncan, there's a nice Christmas fish, that's from Santa Mittens, make sure you write a note to say thank you to him, and let's start the party then, should we go crazy, I kind of feel bad partying all round here when Ank's downstairs, I don't know, maybe he's just feeling a little bit shy down there, should I go and speak to Ank then, and uh, see if he wants to come up, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's just not in the, in the Christmas spirit, Ank, oh, he's just moping around down here, I, I need to give a present to Ank, I need to try and cheer him up, and there you go, you can have a lovely jubbly love love petals and my, you can have my old smelly boots. There you go, Hank. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and oh god, I can hear my, my dog's getting hurt here. Let's go give them some pork chops as well. I need to give them some some presents as well. God, it's been an absolutely crazy Christmas. I love how uh, just insane Christmases always are inside of Stampy's lovely world. Everyone jumping and dancing all over the place. There's all sorts of animals and that. And there we go. Uh, I did manage to steal a little bit of Lee's uh, Christmas present. He's running over uh, to try and steal the rest of it so I can't catch him. Oh, and what's this? What have you given me? Oh, this is the sword. I remember ages ago he promised he was going to give me an amazing sword. Look, looting three, fire aspect two, knockback and sharpness. This sword is amazing. I can't wait until I go and face some googlies and I can go and take them all out. Thank you very much for my Christmas present, Lee. Uh, it's very nice of you. <laughs> Sadly, though, that is about the uh, end of this video here. Hopefully, uh, you all easy, Lee. Easy, careful. Hopefully, you did all enjoy seeing Christmas inside of Stampy's lovely world. And hopefully, uh, your Christmas is just as fun and exciting as uh, this one was. And uh, if it's not, uh, hopefully, you're having a fun time with your family and friends anyway and even if you're not religious hopefully you're just enjoying the uh, the festive season uh, just for what it is and uh, having a good time uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing uh, sadly though 
That is about the end of this video here, so I just want to say once again a very, very Merry Christmas from me and uh, all of my friends, and I'll see you all later. Bye!